Hi Neighbors, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Neighbors. It is I, Jerry Ellen, and in today's episode of Cooking with Neighbors, I will be making chicken and dumplings. A viewer a few weeks back named Debbie, love you Debbie, love all you viewers, you don't know how much you mean to me. Having you here is just bright, brightens my life, I, I, I truly mean that. Debbie mentioned to me that she likes chicken and dumplings, and so does my family. And my friend, Anadi, at Cooking with Anadi, had an open collaboration through the month of January, and each week had a different theme. And one of the weeks was hard on a plate. And this uh, this type of food just warms my heart. I have so many recipes running through my head for, that have been inspired by you viewers, requested, and by a natty. I have a whole menu board I gotta get through because like some of these stuff is, some of the stuff, I just, I just need to share it. Anywho, let's get started. All right, let's get this started. So here in a pot, I have some chicken uh, pieces because just the three of us um, So I'm using the dark part of the chicken so a couple of teaspoons of minced garlic and I seasoned the chicken with a bit of garlic powder onion powder and paprika Just like a teaspoon or so of each so here I have eight cups of chicken broth Two bay leaves. And I'm gonna cook that chicken for another for the next 45 minutes to an hour. Bring that to a boil and turn it down a bit to uh, a simmer. So the reason why I use the chicken broth in the boiling the chicken is just that it just I just want to intensify the flavor. And you can use chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, whatever parts, of the whole chicken, parts of the chicken, doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. Okay, while my chicken is cooking, I'm gonna saute up some veggies. I have here uh, onion diced up, uh, small, and two stalks of celery diced up, and a large red bell pepper, because I like the color of the red bell pepper through the through the chicken and dumplings. Okay, so I'm just gonna soften these a little. I put a bit of oil in my pan. So I'm gonna cook these probably for the next medium low heat for the next eight to 10 minutes. Okay, for uh, the dumpling part, I wanna share why this is like sort of like uh, hard on a plate. I have so many ideas in my head for hard on a plate uh, for um, Anadi's open collaboration that he's that he had and is ongoing really but uh, dumplings When we were growing up and my mom She when she made stews and soups and that he said we she used to make little balls uh, we called them dough boys back home and I would ask her always, like, can you put some dough boys in there, or, you know, some dumplings in? Cup and a quarter of flour, a little bit of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of butter, and I'll show you how I'm going to do this. My mom, 100% of the time, she did it as little balls, but uh, Casey really likes it done out uh, the way I'm going to do it. So I love them this way too, actually. I really do enjoy them this way. So I got that all incorporated. And this is a half a cup. You can use a half a cup of buttermilk, half a cup of whole fat milk, or a half a cup of uh, canned milk. But anyway, that will go in there. is made with love and that's the way I think hard on a plate is is something made with love now to this you can add a little bit of dry chives and have like uh, chives in your dumpling that's nice too I'm not doing that today I want to get this all mixed in there really well flour my surface really well too because this flour is really going to um, 
make the broth really nice. And you want them rolled out fairly thin, fairly thin, because they're going to puff up. Hey, look, Jerry's making a delicious casserole. <laughs> I'm going to put it onto a floured sheet just to, for the time being, it can hang out there. All right, neighbors. So after about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, my chicken was cooked. I took the skin off, I deboned it, so I have all the meat, shredded it up a little. And so that's what I did there. I'm bringing this up to a boil. My veggies that I sauteed, I'm gonna add those in. I'm gonna fish out my bay leaves. There's another one in there somewhere. There she be. Okay, so that's brought to a boil. And I am going to start putting in my dumplings. You don't wanna first crowd it. You wanna place them in there without crowding. They're gonna start floating around. As they cook, you can move them around and add more. These are all different sizes. I wasn't being all picky about it. I was just getting her done. Okay, now that they're all added, I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer and put the lid on. For like 15 20 minutes okay it's been about 20 minutes now and at this point if you wanted to wait to add your chicken now you can and just stir it through and get it all warm you don't have to put it in at the same time as the dumplings using the dark meat i wasn't afraid of it drying out no i want to see what kind of angle i can get but i'm not quite sure let's put, get some of this into a bowl i think that looks perfect I'm obsessed with these bowls. A tasty poo, if you will. Just a little bit of pepper. That's so good. Anyway, there you have it. Delicious. Peace, love, God bless.